Hello and welcome to this series of our survival adventure out in the Swedish wilderness. We will stay here for 72 hours with limited gear, no food, no water and try to survive off the land. We will eat what the nature has to offer, collect and purify our own water and sleep in a shelter. This is the first of three episodes. This is our adventure. So sit back, relax and enjoy. Keeping dry feet, very important in the survival world. We just had to run because there was a was a boar coming at us. Hello, guys! Welcome back to TSM Adventures. We are out in the woods again. Uh, this time we're gonna do some survival. So yeah, it's me Adam and this beautiful gentleman. Thank you. Robin is my name and I'm a childhood friend to, uh, to Adam and I'm uh, joining here today for uh, uh, teaching myself some survival skills. Yep. Uh, I've been up in the woods before but uh, not this serious I suppose. No. It's, so gonna, it's gonna be great. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna stay here for three nights and four days. Stay tuned and yeah, I'm gonna show you our gear. We have one shirt each. You have a spare uh, tank top. Yep. Uh, we have gloves. They look good for the camera. <laughs> we have gloves and we got some uh, rain, a raincoat and a semi -pro waterproof rain jacket. Uh, professional so and unprofessional gear. <laughs> yes. Guess who's who's. Uh, you, you have the professional one. <laughs> I have a fake jacket from Nepal, North Face, it says on the on the mark. Oh yeah, really? Yeah, it's pretty fake, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, we got the, our backpack right here. Q. Yes, and uh, that's basically to have the gear in. Okay, and we also have the filming gear. We have a drone. Uh, we have uh, oh, yeah. Giro, cool. and we have one GoPro Hero 5, and the ones filming is GoPro Hero 7. We got some uh, cables and stuff to charge our things with, and we got this uh, power, power bank. bank. Yeah. yeah. We actually have two power banks. Yeah, two power banks. The green thing is some uh, some stuff for the cameras. All right. Yeah. We got one. What's that filthy stuff? Uh, yeah, this is a container we're gonna clean our water with. Oh, lovely. Yes. I thought that was the thing we peed in, but okay. <laughs> we can do both. All right, lovely. Perfect. And we also got two knives. I got one here. Robin got one. In I got bed. one here. And he also has the uh, fire steel, the flint. Oh, that's true. Yeah. All right. Then the gear is done. Okay, guys. So we're gonna clean this space up a little bit and we're gonna build us an A-frame shelter for two people. Uh, it's gonna be a pretty small A-frame shelter because yeah we won't have a fire up here probably because of the it's illegal to do right now in Sweden in the forest. We might do a fire down at the river to be able to clean some water and stuff but yeah here we're not gonna have a fire. The entrance will be over that way because we have a lake there and an open space which means that wind comes from that direction. Uh, yeah, we're gonna start cleaning up, gather some sticks and uh, trees, all dead, because we don't want to destroy the forest. This one is pretty dead. Yes, sir, it is. And then we're gonna start, so yeah. Awesome, let's do this. Hop! Now the walls just keep piling sticks all the way down there as close as possible to get them to make it a little bit waterproof. Alright, so uh, from, which, from which side do you want to start from? The bottom or the top? Uh, we're going 
to start from the top and work yourself down. Then we use the long sticks for the top and then just go. Alright. And on the sticks later we're gonna have some moss. 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 Cute. Alright. Let's do this. Ah, that one. So as you see, we have about half a wall left to build. Uh, Robin keeps gathering sticks to build that wall. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna start gathering some moss. And then we're gonna have the moss on the top of the shelter. Uh, yeah, so that's the next step. This shelter is really good because you don't need any tools for it. You just take dead branches out in the woods and you can build this with no tools whatsoever if you find yourself in a situation where you don't have any tools. And if there's a lot of dead trees and branches around, this will go in like half an hour to build. We have to search Hello. for it. <laughs> Hello. We have to search for it some more because, yeah, it's kind of spread out right here. And as always, when we put this on, we're gonna start from the bottom and work ourselves up. All right. So, which material is the best to uh, to cover? I'd say moss, actually. Moss. Ah, oh. oh, you mean bottom from there? No overlapping. Yeah. So, the outside of the shelter is done. The only decoration left. Oh. Hello, Robin. Life is good. As they say in Russia, Жизнь прекрасна. <laughs> Life is good. Issues. Four gloves. Three hundred Four hundred crowns. That's good. About forty dollars. A bit more. Yeah, something like that on sales. Awesome. Just gonna load of XXL. Time for the next step for this shelter. We're gonna make our bed and we're gonna make our bed with spruce branches spruce. Yes, that will be enough for us to get up from the ground just Yeah, let's say 10 centimeters or so should be enough now Yeah, I looked at the weather and about 9 degrees in the afternoon or the night and about 20-25 degrees days like this 
we might get some rain the last day. But uh, yeah, it looked really good, the weather report. So this will be an awesome trip. Perfect. Let's gather some uh, spruce branches. Yay! Yay! Let's do it. Here we got a branch. Gonna stick it in the ground, as the instructor said. All right. So then bounce up a little bit to get a little bit of air under it. Is that right? Yes, that's right. Cool. So we'll do this the whole way in, the whole way out, and then a couple of layers to make it good enough for us to sleep on. To get up from the ground. Well, of course it's gonna be good enough. And to make it soft. It's gonna be king size. Yes. It's going to be awesome. Just like home. Done. Finished. Yes. At least for tonight. So we have uh, insulated the yeah the the shelter. Uh, we come up from the ground about five to ten centimeters or so. So the coldness from the ground won't, uh, won't be as big of a problem as it would be if we wouldn't have anything at all. We have a roof that is waterproof. The last time I, I used moss, it. Uh, rained for 10 hours straight and it still didn't come in any water so that's impressive yeah so we have an awesome shelter we have a good roof we have a good bed the next step now is to start cleaning some water because i am starting to get thirsty so we're gonna go down by the water boil some water and just have a good time by the fire and i'm also gonna teach you how to start the fire with a flint cool awesome Nice. All right. We just built uh, four piles of uh, of timber wood for our fireplace, and we built a fireplace that we that we protect the 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 rock against the fire, and then we have a small pile to uh, kind of start the fire and then it goes bigger and bigger and the biggest and I had uh, the pleasure to do the small ones and uh, big daddy Adam he did the big part and uh, now we're gonna boil some water which Adam caught here in this little jar or can or whatever you want to call it and we're gonna make some tea awesome what kind of tea are we doing well Follow me and I shall show you. Let's do this. Awesome. So, to make the tea we don't have to go very far. Uh, we'll start with the usual, which is uh, pine needles, uh, which are rich in uh, C vitamin and uh, have some sugars in them. And you want to take the ones on the end at the branch uh, to get the most out of them. The most C vitamin and the most sugars. We we'll start with that. Whoops! Don't fall. So why do you need a C vitamin? Vitamins are good. Don't ask me why. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to know why it's good. <laughs> just, just eat it and be happy. You want about two fists full for a container that size. But this will be enough for now. Push them in. Go. Cool. Awesome. And the next thing is Jung. And we're gonna use these flowers to put in the tea. Very nice. Yes. Those have a calming effect. Mm -hmm. And will help us sleep better for an tonight. anxious person. Yes. <laughs> Just a handful. And handful. let's put nice. this in the container. 
Oh. Nice. Yes. Here we found something. Yeah, here we find some blueberries. Blueberries. You, what? It's quite a lot. So here we're gonna pick and make our tea taste better. Great. All right, we have some blueberries. Yay! And some lingonberries. Yay, but they're not as good. And they're a bit bitter. Put them in. Almost everyone. The rest. Push into the mouth. Before we're gonna drink it, we're gonna put, uh, make a fire, or rather start a fire. And then say our praise. Yeah, sure. <laughs> awesome, so let's start a fire. We have our birch bark, and we got the knife and the flint. Now I want you to put the flint in the middle of the pile. All right. And then hard and not all the way down. And yeah. strike. Strike. Okay. No. Different angle on the knife. There, yeah. there you go. There you go. I went fast. Yeah. Nope. Awesome. And now you take that birch bark there and you put it in the fire. Awesome. You can put it down. Now you take the small branches and hold them a bit over the fire. Uh, a bit closer. Just over. And when they are burning, now you can put them down. Right. Awesome. And then you just start or keep putting some smaller ones in. Nice. And you form a pyramid, not too close with the sticks. All right, fire is on. And we're putting that uh, the tea on yes. for boiling. Okay, so the tea is on the fire. And uh, yeah, the water source is this beautiful lake down here. And uh, yeah, we're gonna keep it on the fire until it boils. When it boils with big bubbles, we're gonna wait about two minutes and then we have some awesome bacteria and virus free tea to drink. What a lovely day. Yes. What a lovely evening. And it's smelling so good. And we, and the tea is boiling and it's soon done. It's got some color too. Oh, yeah, it looks good. Pur purple color. Yes, from the blueberries. Ooh la la. And a calming and uh, C vitamin rich effect to it. <laughs> uh, is it any more? Didn't kill them all with the, the heat? No. For sure? Yes, I'm sure. Very nice. It tasted really good actually. Yeah. Very nice. How's it going, Robin? It's good, man. It's good. Starting to get tired. Yeah, a little bit. Oh. Longing for that fruit tree bed. Yeah. Yeah. It's gonna be nice. It's gonna be awesome. Yeah. Very nice. So this is basically the the last thing we do today. Just chilling at the Fire. The fireplace, yeah. yeah, eat some worms. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, the basic yeah. basic stuff. And yeah, tomorrow we might start to get a bit hungry, so some plants and other stuff would be very welcome. Yeah. What's the time? Half past nine. Half past nine. Yeah. Nine thirty. 9.30, yeah. Cool. Well, uh, let's see how this night turns out, because we don't have any sleeping bags or anything, and it can go down to 9 degrees in the night, Celsius that is. So, yeah, it could be a bit cold tonight, but yeah, we'll see you 
at the camp in about half an hour to say good night and stuff. Hey! Sounds good. Nighty nighty. Nighty nighty. Here goes the man. It looks really comfortable. Yeah, it is. It's very cozy. And you have a perfect spot for, for your knife. Yeah. Easy to grab if something comes and tries to eat you during the night. Well, I don't care as long as I can sleep. Yeah. Okay. But that's awesome. I think we can say good night. Good night, bro. So, good night, Robin. And I will come and, uh, yeah. And hug me. Give you a warm hug. Oh, it sounds good. Good night, man. Good night, bro. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Whoa. Yeah, we decided to take a break in the sleeping. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we took a walk and decided to yeah make a fire. So that's what we're going to do, to do now. So it's good. Yeah, for, awesome, man. Ooh. Let's do this. Get some wood and then start the fire. Uh, the sun is starting to come up. You can see it's a bit lighter over there. Uh, we're making some pine tea and uh, Robin is out gathering some blueberries. Uh, so we're gonna have some blueberry and uh, yeah, pine needle tea. So that's gonna be awesome. Right now we're just enjoying this soon to be sunrise and yeah, the fire. Keeping dry feet. Very important. Yes. In the survival world. Yes. If you have dry and uh, you take care of the feet, they are happy and you can walk very far. <laughs> These feet are made for walking. <laughs> and that's what they're gonna do. These feet are made for walking. They're gonna walk all over you. Morning tea. <laughs> mm.